Hi everyone, uh, my name is Diogo, I am 21 years old, uh, I am from Brazil, born and raised, and today I'm going to uh, present myself. So I'm going to answer a few questions so you can get to know me. Um, I will ask sorry in advance because my English may not seem may not be that good at, at some like sometimes. Um, I may not get my grammar totally right, so we will live with that. I, I know that I will be able to understand you guys and you will be able to understand me. So let's start. Um, if I want to have future kids or if I have any, I don't have any because I think I'm, I'm pretty young for that. But yeah, I do want to have kids. I want to have two top, no more than that. Uh, okay, next one, piercings or tats. I used to have one here, another one here, and in my nipples, but I took them off. But yeah, it's okay. It was like a, I made a funeral for them and stuff like that, but it's okay now. Uh, if I have any tats, I do have five tats. I have a deer in my shoulder, I have two in here, I have one in my tight and another one in my, in my leg. Um, yeah, that's it. I would just say that here in Brazil, as you already know, I guess, it's freaking hot, so that's why I'm shirtless. I was like all sweaty, so I, I just I prefer to take my shirt off. Sorry, guys. I, I live without my shirt off when I'm inside my house, so I don't know. It's a get to know me, so this is a get to know me. <laughs> I, I live like this, okay? So, moving on. Uh, who is the most important to you in your life? Uh, I would say that it is my mom because uh, she raised me, she raised me the best way that she could. Uh, she's an amazing woman. Um, she's like 60 years old right now and she goes to college, you know. Um, about my transition she doesn't completely get it but she's trying she's trying really really hard she reads articles she she is interested you know she said that to me that she wants to see me happy and it is amazing right uh, okay moving on next one Things you are most insecure about? Well, one thing that I am insecure about, actually, it is not in my body. I guess I have a lot of dysphoria and insecurity about my body, like my voice, for example. But I know that testosterone will, will help me with this. But the one thing that I'm most insecure about is my future because here in Brazil things are crazy Things are crazy for transgender here It is the country who most kills transgender in the whole world so uh, it is hard sometimes to live in here because people don't I don't know they they're too prejudiced, but I think their prejudice is because transgender is not in the spotlight. Uh, we are a growing movement. Um, we are now starting to be seen as what we are, you know, here in Brazil. So I am insecure about my about my future, about getting a job. Things are pretty tough in here. So Okay, uh, next one. Describe yourself in three words. Um, first word I will say determinate because I really like to chase things. Chase have three things that I really want, that I really like. My friends always say that I am reliable, that I am a reliable person, that they can always come to me with and tell me anything. 
and count on me on everything, you know. I I love my friends, so I do everything that I can for them. So when they tell me that I am a reliable person, I'm really happy with it because I don't know, <laughs> like jobs done. <laughs> Uh, okay, the third word is, is stubborn. I am stubborn in a really bad way. Uh, like sometimes I, uh, I will not accept no as an answer. Uh, it's not that hard to deal with me and my stubborn. Okay, next one. Um, when did you came out as transgender? I came out as transgender to everyone like two months ago, but two years ago I came out to my friend, to an ex-girlfriend of mine, and she was amazing, you know. I don't, I really don't know why I haven't done this before. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't done that, but I did, and I'm really happy that I did this. So, yeah. Um, next one. <laughs> okay, continuing. Uh, I guess I was, would you label yourself transgender or just male? Okay, I would label myself as a transgender, not just male, because I think that underneath this name, uh, there is a fight. I don't know, like, there are people struggling with this, like, trying to just fit in their bodies, like, so I think that it is good to transgender people to consider themselves as transgender, not just male or female, because it is it is good to be visible for those who just cannot be. So I think I am helping others, like saying, hey, it is fine. I have my life, I have, I, I'm studying, I have a job, I don't have a job, but, you know, I'll get a job soon, I hope. But yeah, um, to show them that it, it is really possible to live as a transgender, that's it, that's why I, I consider myself as transgender, not just male. Moving on. Uh, favorite food, okay, I don't know if you guys know my favorite like my favorite food if I just say the name so I will pick and the name of this is Stroganoff I really love it uh, Pat Peeves yeah I do I have two um, I have a big one that she's sleeping right over there and I don't want to wake her up because like she stays like on top of me and smelling this and smelling everything and she just wants to be cuddle and and I, and I cannot do this right now uh, otherwise this video will never be finished uh, and I have another one like a 14 years old dog uh, well he's he's a great dog but he's getting old and I don't know if he's getting crazy, but <laughs> yeah, I think he is. I think he is. Um, list five things you love. I love my mom. I love my friends. I don't know if those are things, but I love them. But okay, um, my mom, my friends. Uh, I love my sister. My car. Um, Food, I love food. Most prized possessions. Well, I don't have a most prized possession because I'm not like into this, but I have like my car. I, I love I love the car, I love to drive, so yeah. Any talents? I thought about that. Uh, uh, for a really long time and I don't know if I have any talent uh, besides just I don't know I like to talk about sociology and political politics so and I and it's easy for me to talk about those those things you know 
so yeah um birthday zodiac sign okay so i was born in november 20 and my and my zodiac sign is scorpio some people say that i really look like my star sign but for a really long time i thought i didn't so i don't know you judge <laughs> And future goals. Okay, and my future goals, I want to try to get in the federal police and and maybe teach, you know, in universities, do sociology and politics. So I will try to uh, put them together and make something out of this Okay, so that was it um, I hope you guys liked I hope you, you guys like the channel Please subscribe like the video uh, If you didn't like show it to your enemy But just show to everybody that you know and follow our journey it is the start of my journey and all of them, all of the guys. So it will be really interesting if you if you follow uh, if you follow this. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will put my link like below on the description. And yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next Saturday.